L.A. Rider is brought to you by Dudley DeBosier Injury Lawyers, serving Louisiana motorcyclists and their families for nearly two decades. Dudley DeBosier, official injury lawyers for the Motorcycle Awareness Campaign. When you're on a motorcycle, you got to look out for all kinds of stuff. But after a crash, it's a danger you can't see that can really get you. The insurance company is working behind the scenes to deny you compensation. They're building a case against you, but at Deli DeBosier, we're working for you. Keep your head on a swivel. Let these guys look out for you. Motorcycle crash? Demand different. Demand Dudley DeBosier. 444-4444. Hello, I'm T.W. Robinson, and this is L.A. Rider, Louisiana's number one source for motorcycle lifestyles, fun, and adventure. So glad you're joining us today. This week, Tammy Arger and I travel to El Dorado, Arkansas for a bit of riding, shopping, and hanging out in the natural state. We close out Motorcycle Safety and Awareness Week with a Memorial Day weekend awareness ride that was pretty lucrative for some participants. And we take time to pause and reflect on a very special number and its significance on Memorial Day. All this and more on this week's edition of LA Rider. So thumb those starters and let's take a ride. and we're right here in the middle of Union Square in beautiful downtown El Dorado, Arkansas. And I'm Tammy Arinder. This town has only about 18,000 people, but you would not believe the vibrant and thriving downtown area that it has. And it also has some great roads to ride on around Southern Arkansas. There's something completely natural about watching the sun come up in the natural state. Well, that is, if you're an early riser like me. TW, not so much. But it's hard to put into words the extraordinary beauty of El Dorado as those first rays spill onto the streets of this adorable little town in southeast Arkansas. Once TW is up and ready to hit the highway, we get our own personal tour. Wendell Chenault may live in Monroe, but he's an Arkansas boy and knows these back roads like the back of his hand. dip back down into Louisiana and while the roads are good and the riding is easy, T.W. and I are ready for a little retail therapy. You'd be surprised at what all this little town has to offer in the way of shopping and that has a lot to do with Richard Mason and his wife. They moved back home to El Dorado several years ago from Texas and helped pump life back into this little oil town. In the mid-70s it was down to like 20,000 and they tried downtown, tried to make a pedestrian mall around the courthouse and the mall fails. And we moved back from, we're from this area, but we moved back from Texas, bought a little property downtown, had an office, and we decided to start working on it. 
downtown. And so uh, my wife went out and recruited. She would go and find a, uh, a really nice little business and say, make them offer they couldn't refuse. Shops and restaurants fill up several city blocks. The abs are great, but have you tried a Main Street cookie? <laughs> Who needs six-pack abs That's when you can right. eat a chocolate chip cookie? <laughs> you know how I'm into the healthy eating thing. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go really shop. From cooking and kitchen stores, which are right up my alley, to specialty shops and boutiques. Oh, it's a small. Dang it. Look down there. Well, you're small in most places. Your ruby red slippers are over here waiting on you. Oh, T.W. T.W. I found your shirt. Oh, you thought it just said tired hot girl. Right. Is that what That's it says? That's what I thought no. I was tired. Retired. Retired. <laughs> but now well, we know we're going to have one made that says tired hot right. girl. <laughs> girl, which one should I go for? Ooh. Depends I'm on thinking what, these. It depends on what you're going for. <laughs> <laughs> Again, my question is, so for either of these items, what event? <laughs> where where are we going well, when we wear it, this? I could tone it down a little oh, bit with the jeans. That's casual this Friday. This is more casual. Yeah. <laughs> right. This is the casual look. The casual oh, hot look. The casual tired hot <laughs> right. girl look. I'll let you know if I ever see T.W. wear those bedazzled Daisy Duke shorts. But it's not just shopping along the streets of the seat of Union County. You get a bit of history as well. Its roots in the oil industry are well documented. Murphy Oil is still headquartered here. And they have about 500 employees right downtown, the building behind me. And so they put it in the Murphy Arts District. And therein, they finished uh, Phase one, which is a big PlayStation. They've got a, uh, an amphitheater right next to it. And by the way, Willie Nelson will be there in uh, the 22nd of June. Wow, y'all bring in some we're, big we're, names. We have Hank Williams Jr. already. And the phase two would remodel the Rialto Theater, which is the last grand theater in El Dorado, I mean, in the state actually and bring in Broadway plays there. You guys are really a destination. I mean, and not just for motorcycle riders, but yeah. it's great for motorcycle riders because <laughs> you have good parking. <laughs> yeah, and you're welcome to come. And we're, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those things that we've looked around at all, I, I can't find any groups that don't really fit our pistol. We've got a little of everything down here. <laughs> LA Rider is brought to you by the Motorcycle Awareness Campaign a 501c3 nonprofit organization exclusively dedicated to promoting motorcycle awareness and rider safety throughout Louisiana and the nation. I didn't see him. She just came out of nowhere. Oh God, what are they going to do? Watch for us. See us. 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 Watch for us. Save us. Nearly two-thirds of all motorcycle fatalities are caused by distracted and inattentive drivers. Please, watch for motorcycles. Welcome back. When on the road, we're always looking for great places to stay at the end of the day. And we found a real gem in El Dorado. It's called Union Square Guest Quarters. And it's right in the middle of everything. So tell me what you thought about the Union Square guest quarters. Girl, I thought that was one of the most amazing little boutique hotels I've ever stayed in. The way they have those rooms decorated, it's like, even though it's a new place, it's like it had a lot of history. 
I know, and it, the, the rooms are huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah. have your sitting area, the balconies. It kind of reminded me of you know maybe a New Orleans feel or whatever because you get to overlook the courtyard and Main Street. I, I thought it was absolutely adorable. And as you know, I'm a hotel and mattress snob. Yes, coffee pot snob. And well, anyway, we won't go down that list. But the because uh, <laughs> it's a long the point list. The being, it takes a lot to impress me. Yep. With a hotel room, and they did. I know. I was a little nervous, and when we got up there, I saw that room, and I was so excited, and I thought, I think Tammy's going to stay. Tammy. <laughs> yeah. Tammy has been known when she's unhappy to go down the road and get her own hotel room. Right. <laughs> but no, I was way happy with that. That yeah. was gorgeous. I will stay there again. What, mm -hmm. what a wonderful getaway, weekend getaway. Oh gosh, yeah. And there's places to eat, like right, just walk out the door. Right, you, and can, you can stumble home. That's right, exactly. <laughs> you don't even have to, have to get in your car or motorcycle or anything and go right. anywhere. You've Everything's got everything. Within walking Shopping. Distance. Shopping, coffee I mean, shops. Oh, good just food. everything. Oh, yeah. And then the Murphy Arts District right there with right. all the great concerts. Lots of places to walk to mm -hmm. and um, sit, sightsee and everything. It was, it was like the perfect destination place. Union Square Guest Quarters. Put that on your bucket list. Remember it. Union Square Guest Quarters features about two dozen rooms, and the rates are incredibly affordable, starting at less than 100 bucks a night. Tammy and I are already planning another trip to El Dorado. It's a great place to spend a weekend or a week or two. Back in a moment with more LA Rider. Thank you, Louisiana, for making Baton Rouge Harley the number one dealer in the state two years running. Huge selection, low use prices here in Louisiana. Clearly marked with our no haggle price. Need payments, rates, just ask. No filling out any paperwork. A warm welcome to our new owners, Rumble On. Need to sell your bike? It's easy at rumbleon.com. Upload a few pictures and you'll have a cash offer in minutes. Free pickup too. Baton Rouge Harley, serving Louisiana for over 20 years. Motocross, we've got it at GM Gonzalez in Baton Rouge. All the bikes, all the gear, and the expertise to help make you number one at the track. From beginner to expert, we've got just what you need at Gian Gonzalez in Baton Rouge. Come see us today at Gian Gonzalez, Louisiana's oldest family-owned power sports dealer, located in downtown Baton Rouge in the shadow of the state capitol. Race on down to Gian Gonzalez. Becoming number one starts here. We're waiting for you! For the best in restorative and cosmetic dental care, choose Dr. Jason Hutto. Your smile is important and so is your overall oral health. And at the dental office of Jason Hutto, our aim is to provide the highest quality dental care. From implants and cosmetic procedures to fillings, root canals, and cleaning, choose Dr. Jason Hutto. Hi, I'm Jason Hutto. Call for your appointment today. But not on Fridays. That's the day we ride. For more than 40 years, Robert Rad Leonard has provided South Louisiana motorcyclists with all their needs, from a showroom jam-packed with all the latest gear to a full-service shop featuring skilled technicians who handle everything from routine service to complete engine rebuilds. Rad Cycles also carries a huge selection of pre-owned models and has the area's largest inventory of used bike parts. For all your riding needs, do what South Louisiana motorcyclists have been doing since 1978. Go Rad. Rad Cycles. They're rider recommended. Looking for a trailer? Check out Mike Gerald's Trailer Depot. At Mike's two Baton Rouge locations, you'll find a huge inventory of high-quality motorcycle trailers, boat trailers, cargo trailers, utility trailers, and custom-built trailers. Plus, the largest inventory of trailer parts and accessories in the area. Can't find that perfect trailer? Let Mike build one for you. Mike Gerald's Trailer Depot. Two locations in Baton Rouge to serve you. They're rider recommended. Want a high quality used motorcycle delivered to your door with a money back guarantee? At usedbikesdirect.com you can choose from hundreds of high quality American, Japanese and European motorcycles. Just browse our website, pick your bike, get your financing and arrange your trade in. All from the comfort of your home and we'll deliver it straight to your door for free. Complete with a 30 day money back guarantee. Buying a used motorcycle has never been easier or safer. Just go to usedbikesdirect.com and start shopping. 
Motorcycle Safety and Awareness Month may be over, but the Motorcycle Awareness Campaign is hoping to keep people talking about awareness each and every month with a new theme. Make every day Motorcycle Awareness Day. They kicked off their campaign Memorial Day weekend, and Tammy Arnder has more. Motorcyclists from all over Louisiana poured into Gian Gonzalez on Chippewa Street in Baton Rouge bright and early on Saturday, May 28th, a chance for some wind therapy and to spread the word about motorcycle safety. Tell me why you're riding today. To enjoy the lovely weather. Any and, other reason? And motorcycle awareness. What made you want to do this particular ride? My neighbor. He's a crazy guy and likes to go riding. Are you aware it's Motorcycle Awareness Day? I am now. <laughs> it's a great day for it. Scotty Drake is with the Motorcycle Awareness Campaign. Doing this big event that we're doing um, at the beginning of the month, we decided to make it at the end of the month. That way perhaps we can roll this feeling over into the next month and the month after and perhaps make every month Motorcycle Safety and Awareness Month. Gian Gonzalez was the first stop. You picked up your punch card, then planned your route. Bob Courtney and T.W. Robinson made sure each rider knew they had to stop at all five sponsor locations to have a chance at winning more than $1,000 in cash all total. Kevin Wilson of Jackson says his wife encouraged well, him to participate. Got the uh, thing on the email. My wife said, Kevin, you want to do it? Because last time we went. She won some money, so she wanted to go do it today. I think she's going to win some money today. But, so here I am. Hopefully I'll win the money today. <laughs> the next stop on the list was Dudley DeBosier Law Offices, just a few blocks from G.N. Gonzalez. Here you go. Yeah. Some riders also picked up a MAC t-shirt, hoping the wearable billboard will remind everyone on the roadway to watch for motorcycles. Then it was off to Tangipo Parish and Hammond Harley-Davidson. That's where Amanda Joe was manning the table and punching the cards. Oh, there you go. That did. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Is that the winning ticket? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Then it's back to Baton Rouge and a stop at Friendly Power Sports, where Scotty happily gave riders their next to last punch. How was your ride so far? Wonderful. Then the day ended at Baton Rouge Harley Davidson. There was music from the Eddie Smith band and an added bonus, we got to hear LA Riders own Bob Courtney sing. It's a rainy night in Georgia. Such a rainy night in Georgia. The cap to the day was the giving away of money. Several people won $250, but the grand prize was $1,000 in cold, hard cash. The winner of the $1,000 grand prize is Sheila Kister. Ah, Sheila! Sheila Kister was truly taken aback to hear her name called. Oh my God, that's wonderful! What you gonna do with a thousand dollars? I'm going to Illinois to visit my sister. Oh right, there you go! We also got to hear from our partners at the Louisiana Highway Safety Commission. At Kimberly Shore, it says it's imperative that we remind non-motorcycle riders that two-wheel motorists have just as much right to the roadway as cars and trucks. So I see the stats that come in every year, the fatalities, the accidents that happen, because people simply aren't paying attention. They don't see the motorcyclists. And it's almost like people riding motorbikes, they're not protected, in a sense, on the road. So I think that putting the awareness out there is going to help, you know, let people be a little bit more aware, like, hey, pay attention, look in your mirrors, make sure, you know, before you're merging or you're turning that there's not someone on a bike that's right there. I'm Tammy Arinder for LA Rider TV. Thank you, Louisiana, for making Hammond Harley the number one dealer in the state for two years running. Huge selection, low use prices here in Louisiana, clearly marked with our no haggle price. Need payments, rates? Just ask, no filling out any paperwork. A warm welcome to our new owners, Rumble On. Need to sell your bike? It's easy as rumbleon.com. Upload a few pictures and you'll have a cash offer in minutes. Free pickup too. 
Hammond Harley, serving Louisiana for almost 20 years. I didn't see him. Watch for us. She just came out of nowhere. See us. Oh God, what are they gonna do? Save us. Please, watch for motorcycles. You might just save someone's life. Motocross? We've got it at GM Gonzalez in Baton Rouge. All the bikes, all the gear, and the expertise to help make you number one at the track. From beginner to expert, we've got just what you need at GM Gonzalez in Baton Rouge. Come see us today at GM Gonzalez, Louisiana's oldest family-owned power sports dealer. Located in downtown Baton Rouge in the shadow of the state capitol. Race on down to GM Gonzalez. Becoming number one starts here. We're waiting for you! I didn't see him. Watch for us. She just came out of nowhere. See us. Oh God, what are they going to do? Save us. Please, watch for motorcycles. You might just save someone's life. Just putting on leather and sitting on a bike doesn't make someone a biker. And it's easy to tell the posers from the pros. Same goes for law firms. Just because someone's a lawyer doesn't mean they know motorcycle cases. At Deli de Bossier, we've been fighting for injured bikers all over Louisiana for years. After a crash, get experience on your side. Call Dudley de Bossier. Motorcycle crash? Demand different. Demand Dudley de Bossier. 444-4444. At Jandy Imports, we have everything for your ride. From high quality leather jackets, vests, and chaps, to saddlebags, luggage, and riding boots. We have a large selection of helmets, too, and feature a full line of AMSOIL and bike care products. At Jandy Imports, you'll find the area's largest selection of patches, all sewed on for you while you wait. You need it? We've got it. At Jandy Imports, the, the little, little store with, with the big inventory. Come see us at Jandy Imports. Improve your skills. Make U-turns with ease. Tighten your corners and ride with more confidence and greater control. Sign up now for Cajun Thunder's Motorcycle Skills Training Course taught by police instructor Mike Richard and Amanda Joe at Cajun Thunder's state-of-the-art facility in Ponchatoula. Take your riding skills to the next level with Cajun Thunder's Rider Advancement Training. Welcome back. For many Americans, Memorial Day is just another holiday, a day of mattress sales, barbecues, and picnics. But on a recent Memorial Day, I decided to take a little helmet time and pause and reflect on what Memorial Day is really about. Like most people who ride, I look forward to holidays. Give me good weather and a three-day weekend and you can be sure I'll be out on the road riding at least two of those three days. Looking for a bigger burger, a new road to ride, or an unusual destination. But on Memorial Day weekend, it wasn't food, or a road, or even a destination that was on my mind. It was a number, and that number was 1.1 million. That's how many Americans have died in battle since the American Revolution. 1.1 million soldiers have gone off to war and never returned. That's what Memorial Day is really about. So on this Memorial Day weekend, I decided to forego the search for food, new roads, and unusual destinations, and instead, pointed Red Rider in a different direction. My first stop was the State Capitol building in Baton Rouge, where I found a stunning temporary memorial to Louisiana's fallen heroes. than 11,000 flags planted here, each one representing a Louisiana citizen killed in battle since the Civil War. The memorial, which was placed by the Blue Star Mothers, 
is a vivid representation of those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Next, a short 19-mile ride north to the Port Hudson National Cemetery just off US 61 on the edge of East Baton Rouge Parish. The siege of Port Hudson was one of the key battles of the Civil War and a costly one. Nearly 5,000 Union troops died during the 48-day siege and many of them are buried here. Today, the cemetery contains the graves of more than 12,000 servicemen and women and is one of the largest national cemeteries in Louisiana. The final leg of my pause and reflect ride took me another 18 miles to the northeast and the Louisiana War Veterans Home in Jackson. The state of Louisiana operates five veterans homes and the Jackson facility was the first. On this Memorial Day weekend, I decided to drop by and say thank you to some of the residents who just happened to be enjoying an impromptu after lunch concert. Thank to you, I'm always on till closing time. I got swinging doors, the box and the bars too. While I can't personally thank the 1.1 million Americans who gave their lives for us, I certainly can thank those who put their lives on the line along with them and managed to make it safely back home. In the end, they are all heroes, aren't they? And they deserve our respect, our honor, and our thanks each and every day. Well, that's it for this week. We hope you can join us next week, same time, same channel, for another edition of L.A. Rider. Until then, I'm T.W. Robinson, reminding you that we haven't been everywhere, but it's on our list. See you next time for more L.A. Rider. L.A. Rider is brought to you by Dudley DeBosier Injury Lawyers, serving Louisiana motorcyclists and their families for nearly two decades. Dudley DeBosier, official injury lawyers for the Motorcycle Awareness Campaign. When you're on a motorcycle, you got to look out for all kinds of stuff. But after a crash, it's a danger you can't see that can really get you. The insurance company is working behind the scenes to deny you compensation. They're building a case against you, but at Deli de Bossier, we're working for you. Keep your head on a swivel. Let these guys look out for you. Motorcycle crash? Demand different. Demand Dudley de Bossier. 444-4444. God bless Chrome Cowgirls like us.